King Charles isn't doing too well, so it's time for Prince William to step up. Except there are lots of signs that William is not ready to be the king, and here they are. First off, we have he's skipping important engagements. Now earlier this week, Prince William dropped out of a ceremony to honor his godfather, King Constantine of Greece, due to a personal matter, Kensington Palace says. Now Prince William, who was set to do a reading at the service according to the order of service, was due to attend without his wife. While the palace didn't indicate whether William's absence was due to Kate's recovery, a palace source tells people she continues to be doing well. Now they also said that he did not pull out due to something happening with King Charles. So why would he leave something so important like that? It seems like time will tell, but it's very strange that he would leave something as important as that. Now due to this, Camilla formally led the British family, stepping in for her husband, King Charles, and she was joined by family and friends, as well as royals from around the world at the service. Service. Then there's that he has a bad temper. It's been reported that William has a bad temper, and this has happened with Kate, but especially Harry, since they are feuding. Now Harry accused William of physically attacking him during an argument over Meghan in 2019. In an excerpt from his memoir, Harry claimed that he got into a fight with his brother after William called Meghan difficult and abrasive. He grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and knocked me to the floor, Harry wrote about the altercation. Now having a temper like that is just scary. Next up. He committed a crime? Okay, so I see this sentence with a question mark because this has not been confirmed, but if he did commit some sort of crime, there's no way he could be king. Now, why would I just accuse him of a crime? Well, I haven't. Out of nowhere, it seems, there's been a huge onset of stories in the media about what would happen to Prince William if he was charged with a serious crime. Now, it's just weird that this topic is trending all of a sudden, especially with everything that's been happening with the royals. Allegations of criminal behavior behavior involving Prince William and his wife Kate have surfaced, but they remain unverified for now. However, these rumors raise intriguing questions about the potential consequences if a member of the royal family were to face some serious criminal charges. In modern times, there's little precedent for royals facing criminal conviction, and if Prince William were to face criminal charges, the situation would undoubtedly be complex. While theoretically subject to trial and imprisonment like any other citizen, practical considerations such as his eventual ascension to the throne would likely complicate matters. Now, Once king, the monarch holds considerable legal authority, as all legal proceedings occur in their name, so he would be essentially immune from the law. But would people be okay with this? I don't think so. I think he'd be kicked off the throne. On to him being a partier. For a lot of people, taking a sneaky day off work is possible, but when you're next in line to the throne, perhaps jetting off to a Swiss resort is not the best indication of your loyalty. In 2017, Prince William seemingly decided that a ski trip to Switzerland with his pals was more important than attending the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey, a service attended by every member of the royal family. Well, except him. He was photographed dad dancing, cavorting with 20-something models, and boozing the night away while his relatives performed their royal duties. William was then slammed over his apparent aversion to his duties, and critics argued that as a public-founded institution, the royal family must carry out their duties as a means of giving back to the people. Now, subsequently, William's decision to go on a boys' outing was controversial not only because he backed out of his duties, but because it was likely funded by the British taxpayer. In an interview with BBC, William has defended himself against these claims, insisting that he takes duty very seriously. Sure, well. Then we have his inappropriate behavior. As we know, Prince William was a partier, especially in his early adulthood. Sometimes his drinking and partying got him in a lot of trouble though. For example, snaps of a drunk William emerged online after a wild night and on March 23rd, 2007, as he was caught seemingly inappropriately touching a woman named Anna Ferreira. The British press had a field day with this picture, and some backstory is that William had been knee deep in his military tank warfare training in Dorset when he decided to have a night out on the town. And it's in enough. 
right? Well, he was partying in a nightclub and word went around that William was there playing cheesy 80s music, so many people went to go see him. Now one of those people was Anna and she and her friends went to take a look. She said he was dancing, looking a bit wooden, I don't think he would be any good at the samba. But there were lots of girls hanging around him. William, who's 24 years old at the time, posed for some pictures with Anna and her friends. Anna said, I was a little bit drunk myself, but felt something brush my breast. I thought it couldn't be the future king, but now that I've seen the picture, it's no wonder he has a smile on his face. Yikes. Being drunk is not a valid excuse for this. Now let's talk about how he didn't care about others' health and safety. In 2020, Britain implemented some of the harshest pandemic restrictions in Europe. People were banned from leaving their local area, only permitted to go outside for brief exercise or essential work. However, Prince William allegedly broke said lockdown laws by traveling to Scotland, which had its own strict rules by the way, at a time when cases were skyrocketing. While everyone else was stuck at home, William and Kate Middleton traveled all over Scotland like it was pre-2020 times. Now I couldn't see my grandparents for months, but they could travel because it was considered essential travel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, many question what was so essential about the royals' trip across the Scottish Isles, and subsequently there were calls for the couple to be prosecuted. Dr. Katrina Farrell said it's a slap in the face at a time when people can't get married, have restricted numbers at funerals, and hospital inpatients aren't allowed visitors. What exactly makes this essential travel? Moving on to his affair. Even though Prince William has been a part of many scandals through the years, nothing captured the media's attention the way that his alleged affair with Rose Hamby did. In Touch first broke the news that William may have cheated on Kate Middleton with Rose Hanbury. Apparently the affair occurred when the Duchess of Cambridge was expecting Louis in 2018 and only came to light in 2019. Now cheating on a pregnant woman? Really well. Now the outlet alleged that Kate confronted her husband, but he reportedly laughed off the accusations. A prominent staff writer at the Times of London then seemingly confirmed the rumors when he tweeted, It is an affair, I haven't read the piece, but I know about the affair. Everyone knows about the affair, darling. Now, he later deleted the message, but a source said, The reality is most couples have their issues, and William and Kate are no different. The world was shocked to hear that the alleged affair rocked the palace and their marriage. On to him being not well liked. In March 2022, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's Caribbean tour was at the center of heated contention. Their first stop had a poor start after the couple attempted to land their plane in a football field, leading to protests from locals who deemed the act a manifestation of the royal's colonial mindset. One person said, we don't want them to land on our land, that's the message we want to send. Then when the pair arrived in Jamaica, they were met with more protests who condemned the royal family's history history of imperial violence and called out the couple for ignoring the history of the monarchy. In an open letter, the protesters argued, We see no reason to celebrate 70 years of the ascension of your grandmother to the British throne because her leadership and that of her predecessors have perpetuated the greatest human rights tragedy in the history of mankind. In the wake of the controversy, the Duke was asked to apologize for the monarchy's history of slavery, but instead, he said slavery was just a stain on our history. So. That's great. Next up, we have Kate's health. On January 17th, the Kensington Palace revealed their first statement on Kate's health. Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, was admitted to the London Clinic yesterday for planned abdominal surgery. The surgery was successful, and it is expected that she will remain in the hospital for 10 to 14 days before returning home to continue her recovery. Based on the current medical advice, she is unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. Now, it's understood that her surgery was non cancerous, but no other details were provided on the princess's health conditions. Now the public then went over 65 days without physically seeing the princess. A photo was released of her this week, but people aren't too convinced it's her. Now where is Kate and how is she doing? Well, Kate's well-being has a great impact on William, and if she's not doing well, what will happen to him? And lastly, we have the fighting with his brother. Prince William has been in a feud with his brother, Prince Harry, for years now. A lot of it has to do with Meghan Markle and her joining the family. Now let me just say that it's so sad that a woman is what tore these brothers apart. Now in March 2021, after Harry and Meghan left the royal family, they did an interview with Oprah. While talking about their controversial exit from royal life, Harry addressed where he stood with William. Much will continue to be said about that, Harry pointed out. You 
you know, as I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience. We're on different paths. But according to royal expert Robert Lacey, the duo was at odds during their grandfather Philip's funeral that April. They started quarreling again, the author claimed. The conflict between Diana's two bitterly divided sons does not seem likely to end anytime soon. In June 2022, a source told Us Weekly that William has not been in a good place with Harry. The brothers hit rock bottom after Harry and Meghan sat down for a tell-all interview in March 2021. The insider added that their relationship was reportedly doomed and could not be repaired. Then Harry released his memoir in January 2023, which created a bigger wedge between the pair. Now, if he can't get over this fight with his brother, how can he rule a country? Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 signs Prince William isn't ready to be king. Do you think he should still be king? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.